Knights of West of Loathing. All right. Just got into the bar here. Pete wanted to uh, proposition me, but uh, I don't know. Pete looks kind of shady. What do you What do you say, Pete? Who me? Well, heck, I say all kind of things. For instance, their machines can't trust them no more. A uh, metal scalaway. Uh, Pete takes a swig of it. Yeah, that's uh, sounds like Pete. See you later, Pete. All right. Well, Pete, you're an interesting fella. All right, at least he was playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth at their hands to how to play <laughs> uh, Okay. Okay. All right. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's play. You put 20 of meat on the table and sit down. Before they can say no, one of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. That can serve Wait, what do I have? We got two. I've got a pair of tens. Yeah, I've got a pair. No, oh, I'm going to be aggressive. All right, so I'll bet 10 me. They squint at their hands for a moment and each other slowly pushes 10 me into the middle of the table. All right, read and read. You show them the pair of tens plus the two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house. Two jacks, three aces. Okay, and the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two, six, two, two through six, and hearts. Heart, huh? Intimidate? Do I, can I intimidate? I'm not going to intimidate. I win! You explain that jacks are worth nine plus, nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points, and the gal. On the right, 20 points. And you're 25 plus a king. They squint at the rules again, but eventually shrug and nod at you. <laughs> okay. All right. That's my, um, it's got to be my skill coming in handy, right? Bartering. Or like, yeah, you collect your winnings and stand up. Cool. I got my meat, boy. They not want to play with me no more. Go away, Pete. Who's this guy? What's this guy got going on? Oh, he's asleep. Oh, I'm not going to mess with you. <laughs> Look at that. It's got worms. Hey, can I, can I get you to play something different? No? What's up, lady? The woman glares at you. You should probably let her drink. Okay. No problem. What's up, Mike? You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Okay. Bartender finally knows you. How, howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Bobcat. What brings you to our little backwater? That's right, his name's Bobcat. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? And it, unfortunately, Bar Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of a of an uh, errand town, uh, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for real work, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up in Dirtwater. Ask about the railroad. Ask about. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Okay, well, I said ask about errands. You mentioned errands. What uh, what kind of errands? Yeah, the Forsaken Burge. Burg. This Forsaken Burg. Like a, like a city, I guess. Burg? Yeah. Like Pittsburgh. That's cool. It's always falling apart in one way or another. The hustler is always needing help since he hurt his leg. And they ain't no, and they no cow sheriff can, couldn't certainly stand to have somebody no head die for. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin moose in the basement. Some cow poke it. Some cow poked in from, in from Gulch, didn't wipe his boots off, and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. I mean, I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. 
I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. Weak fumigate. Fungicide. Weak fungicide. I thought it was a- wait, it's a goblin, but it's like a fungus goblin. Yeah, that'll work. Howdy, I'm Bob- I mean, howdy, I'm Bobcat. Well, howdy, Bobcat, I'm Horse. Not to be- I, I can't give- there's gonna be a bunch of characters in this. Howdy, Bobcat, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm town hostler. Uh, I don't know what that is. How's that work? <laughs> How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Oh, the, oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is going nice. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. <laughs> so what an ages. Oh, is that a fact? Well, why are you, why are you here drinking this head? Uh, yep. Uh, oh, oh, is that why you're here drinking this head? Oh, uh, yep. And me being uh, in here drinking instead of watching the horses, probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One of a kind, boring one. But it's got four legs and it's back to... And, and a back to sit on. Yeah, cool. Come see me at the stable. I'll be having to show. Cool. All right, man. Okay. Hostler. What's up, girl? Hey, baby. All right. Okay. That's cool. This, this is the basement. All right. What's up, goblin? What's up, buddy? The goblin shouts, Bark! attack the goblin. No, I'm not attacking the goblin. I don't want to attack the goblin. I don't want to be mean. Look, he's just chilling. He ain't doing nothing. Guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Good. You got an item. Nurse brand whiskey. Good deal. All right. You got anything else for me? What is this? Why all those newspapers? You got an item, Boring Spring Gazette. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, my God. I okay. need this. Oh, did I ever read that other book? Oh, my. Okay. Mind your meat. You read the book from cover to cover and learn, among other things, that it's overpriced and way too high. You got a skill. Dicker. All right, here we go. After done reading it, after you, okay, wait, after you're done reading it, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide-eyed roof for 16. Good deal. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was trying to, oh, bet if I would have played that poker game with that, I would have gotten some money or something. Yeah, well, that's how the cook crumbles, I guess. Warren Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Wait, do I? Okay, that's, I could read that. I mean, I did read it, I guess. Wait, does it say something? Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold up. Hold up. All right, do you say anything? This copy of the Boring Springs newspaper from about six, okay. Oh, so it gives us a kind of time frame of where we're at. So that puts us in 1895, which doesn't matter in this stick figure world. Oh, crab walking. This is how a crab walks. Then talk to a sheriff. Uh, hey, what's up, man? Step right up, step right up. Brad's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Brad? All right, whatever. Brady? Brad? Brady? <coughs> Excuse me. Howdy, Brady. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and sticks of dynamite for needles. Okay. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnakes hot, well, that uh, adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Three rattlesnakes hot for silver pocket watch. Huh. I'll trade the soap for a lock. I'll trade the dynamite for this needle. Oh, I'll take some dynamite for this needle. How about some free dynamite? Oh, that's my skill. No trade right now. Gimme, yeah, gimme. How about some free dynamite, sir? I must admit, you drive a hard bargain, but I find it similar to say, Yeah, okay. No, I don't want to trade it. Look, I don't know if the soap or the other things that I do stuff. Yikes. 
Yow. <laughs> Alice MD, what are you? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Okay. Hi, right, cactus man. Out of yourself. Name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, uh, I run too much uh, cactus bear and uh, turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would, ha this would happen. Uh, but I'm going to listen. And uh, that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, no, that's, a, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, ha! <laughs> oh, no, actually, it's kind of nice. Uh, the natural fermentation process inside the cactus parts uh, helps keep me pretty dry most of the time. Uh, I guess it might, it's a my boring. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. Uh, you you don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Give him the newspaper. I didn't have an option not to, so... Could have been a dick to that guy. I'm, oh. mm -hmm. Uh, Couldn't have been dicker in that guy. You give the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Good. Much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here what I can do in return... No, if I can return the favor for it. Oh, I know. I need my shovel. I left it behind the, the outhouse at the Orahole Mine. Orahole Mine? What? It's yours if you go get it. Go and get it. I'm sure you'll find it use find a use for it. Yeah. Alright. SP3. Yeehaw! Skill up muscle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little bit more powerful now. Find the outhouse at the Orahole Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it now. If you, I'm just like blending my southern accent in with all of it. Now, if you don't mind, kind of stick that newspaper into my place here and leave. Okay. All right. Well, I cared about you, Bill. What's this way? Nope, you're not allowed to get the line to pick anymore, remember? By the way, you can use ZL. Okay, or button to help. Okay, yeah, right. I, I figured that out earlier. That's my map. But we're going to back out of that. Let's go see what's going on with Doc Atlas. Get lost. Let me in. Let me in. What's up, man? He's so dark. I already talked to the sheriff. Are the bar Am I done in the bar? Hell, what? Hell, look. Oh, I got some meat for my, my glasses here. That's what happened there. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Who's the lady drinking the whiskey out in the beer mug? Oh, that's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pest her. Why's that? Lost her family in a, to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustration about it. Ouch. Holler at me. What's up? The woman that glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, cowboy. Hold on. Howdy, cowboy. Well, she's a rough and tumble, so. Let me try this whisper. Howdy, cowboy. Who's gonna be searching the spittoon for teeth if he don't if he don't leave me in peace? Okay, bye bye then. You really don't, girl. Do you not see my four gallon hat? Do you not see the Stetson? The woman, girl. Oh, uh, okay. You know what, girl? You know what? You trifle. I don't want nothing to do with that. Let's go see this BS horsery. Some dickery on this horsery. Horse is 1,000 meat. What's up, man? Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. All right. Okay. 2017, huh? Uh, to tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes, thank you. Please, I'd go fetch it myself, except for this injury, I gave you 300 meat for each one you find. How many are there? There are three. Three here? Let me see your map. Uh, they pretty much always run away to the same places. You draw three little pictures on your map. You discover a new map location or whole mine. Oh, okay, good. Oh, did he not give me? Oh, okay, no, but I know, I know there's a shovel over there. You discover a new map looking at Boring Springs, uh, Thousand Snake Gulch. 
Right. Well, I'm going to go to the Oral Oral Mine. Oral Mine. Why these places? I think they like the environment that the environments that are thematically appropriate. Uh, here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats, and uh, that should uh, send it back here. What's in the oats? What's in the bag? How does that work? There are special pigeon infused of Okay. Alright, bud. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you later. I'm gonna talk to you later, guy. Wait, can I talk to this horse? Are you like Ed? Ed Mc is it Ed McMahon? What was the horse that could talk? Like there. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's hit the road. No, let's go to my map here. Yeah, we want to go to Orhole Gulch. Or no, 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 you know what? Let's go do this. I can, I can probably get my stats up a little bit before I go mess with the fricker thing again. That was probably. My... There's still some meat. Oh yeah, some meat. What? Oh, I got a shovel. Wait, what can I do with the shovel? Can I do something with the shovel? Please tell me I can do something with the shop. Oh, what do we do? Device for Ground rules provides the option to dig in certain places. No, no, no. Any option to dig? I want to dig right, right here. Oh, I found a cup. I found another mug. This is sketchy. It's instructions for the cargo elevator. All right. Cargo elevator control, level one blast and cap storage, plungers, both kinds, tools. Where do you want to send the cargo? Leave the elevator alone for now. Let me come back to that. What's in here? I got more meat? Oh, a nugget? What was that? What did I get? I'm sure I'll see it later. You can't get past the trouble. Okay. Well, well, good. All right, I guess I'll mess with this elevator. All right, let's just try level one. Okay. These crates are labeled last and caps. The period uh, is part of label. That's why it's inside the box. Jesus. Jesus. That's so clever. I just, I just wasn't ready. The period is part of the label. That's why it's in quotations. I'm gonna grab one. Dang it. Looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to run. Wanna do it? Is there not a crowbar? What are you talking about? Yeah. What? Okay. That's fine. Let's go to level two then. Let's see what's going on with that. Elevator is closed. Yeah, right. Got it. I understand how that works. Oh, look. Plungers. You got, you got got an item. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, here we go. So you press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot something. Oh, okay. That's cool. So can I get another one? Tools. Uh, I bet three will have the crowbar on it, right? Level three is going to have the crowbar. It's a toolbox, but it's uh, picked a lot. Mitch unlocked the toolbox, but... The needle is ruined. No! Most of the tools inside are rusted away to nothing. That's a pretty nice crowbar. I'll take it. Alright, that means we go back to level one. We'll crowbar this guy up. Alright, well, I used that needle. I, I didn't think about the consequences of my action. Yeah, blast cap. Okay, it's time. Wait, I got it. Yes, I succeeded in putting myself in great danger. Good. This makes you nervous. Press it. Oh, oh my god! Look at him. Look at him doing his step. Hey! What's up, man? You see the dark horse barely. I can barely. Because you're coming in. So you want to play with magic? Boy, you should know what you fall. Oh, I got a silver knife. Fall for. Baby, do you dare do this? 
Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse. Keep the dark horse barely approaching, huh? Hey, these girls. Hey there, girl. It's okay, I'm afraid. The horse shies away from you. Through it, though, in the case, it's more like crippling introvert. Okay. The horse shies away from you. Though, in this case, it's more like crippling introverted away from you. Okay. That's fine. Uh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I bought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. The uh, horse is pretty reluctant. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't very comforting thing to say. Can I pat her on the nose? As you reach out to pat her on the nose, the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadow. Oh, come on! Beat her oats. Come on now. Take a handful of oats. Here you go. Yum, yum. Or she slides away. Me early and makes surprisingly good attempt to hide the shadow of the court. Ah, that's funny. Come on, please. Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine. It's okay, see? Take a handful of oats out of the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ouch. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You'll smile uh, to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you worldly as you re-enter a cheerful flame. See? Perfect. Be fine. Give a handful of oats. Here you go. Yum, yum. What? Turn on the nose. The horse finally seems to relax. Okay, so I guess I did it in the right order this time. Good. Turn around to look. But you don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Good. All right. Okay, she's going home. Cool, dude. Okay, guys. One horse down. Thank you for joining me again for West of Loathing. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, you are a beautiful and unique individual, and we need you. So keep going.